All right, you guys, what's up, MJ family? Welcome back to a brand new video. As you guys can tell by the title, today we're gonna be doing a Q&A part two. You guys, this was my idea. I wanted to do a part two because I feel like you guys don't know that much about it, so I wanna do a part two. And plus, my first Q&A video, I feel like it sucked, so I wanna redo a part two. All right, you guys, let's get straight into the video. All right, you guys, we got some questions. Um, well, all these questions that we got we was from all my friends on Snapchat. So shout out to all my friends on Snapchat that gave me these questions. I wouldn't be able to do this video without you guys. This this question is more so for me, it's not for, it's for me, so. Person asked me, was like, what's your favorite hobby besides YouTube? Um, I don't really know, um, I guess, I don't know, what would you say? What? Like, what do I do besides you do basketball? Um, basically, spend time with family. Yeah, I that's, said that. that's Spend that's time with family. That's what I would say, just, you know, spend uh, time. Or, with or you know, go out, go, you know, have our little date. Like, nights. movies and stuff, that's basically, but anything yeah. else, nothing. So movies and spending time with family. Yes, All right, you guys, question number two is, what are your plans for YouTube in the future? What my plans is for, I have no idea, but I hope it's big plans for YouTube, hopefully. Oh, what was the question? Um, what is your plans for YouTube in the future? I mean, if we if we make it out of YouTube to the point where we, we we can quit our job and we can pay our our rent and you know and stuff like that, what what I would want to do on the side is because I always wanted to be a be in like acting some type yeah. of movie or see, you I always know, talk so I always, about acting. I always, like, I always see like I'm gonna play in my first ever movie. Mm -hmm. That's 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 what I want to do. Besides you know, doing YouTube, yeah. I want to. All right, you guys. All right, so last question you just asked us is, what is our plans for? What would be our plans for YouTube? And our next, um, our next one is like, if y'all had to meet any celebrities, who would you want to meet? Um, but I didn't kind of answer the last question. My last question is like, my plan for YouTube. I would just uh, like just do YouTube. Like, I probably would not want to do nothing else. I wouldn't want to come out of the house. I just want to do YouTube sleep and rest like the white man has worked me enough like i'm trying to rest like it's like i'm retired but i make you make it out of youtube like that's my final and only job is YouTube. like i ain't doing nothing else i might go out and hoop that's about it like i normally do but if y'all had to meet any celebrities who would y'all want to meet all right you go first you know who i you know who my celebrity is cardi b she wants to meet Cardi right B. Girl. That's my girl. That's her girl. I fuck with a lot of her music and Amigos, especially when her and Amigos be collabing. That shit fire. I bump it at. But my celebrities, I got a whole bunch of niggas. I wanna, I'm a more of a funny person. I like comedy a lot, a whole lot. Like I would try to do stand up comedy eventually one day if I could. But I wanna, I got a whole bunch of folks. She just got one person. I got. I would want to meet Chris Brown, but I wish I could sing just like that nigga. He can sing, but he like the best R&B singer to me. So I would want to meet Chris Brown. And then next, I would want to meet Desi Banks. Desi Banks, bro, like he is too funny, bro. He too funny. That last video that he uploaded, that one about, uh, what was it? When they was in the hospital together, bro. And then the, the, the doctor was trying to pull him off of him. That shit was so funny. I oh, want to meet Chris Brown, Desi Banks, and then if I had to meet a basketball player, which I like hooping a lot, I would be. If MJ's still alive, bro, I'd like to meet MJ. And I wouldn't want to meet Kobe if he didn't, you know, die in the crash plane, but 
That's my idea. Them three, my idols. That's it. Yeah, that's my three. You ain't got no more besides Cardi B. Well, Cardi B, and then I would want to meet the the Migos. Oh my goodness, I I should have said that. The Migos, I I fuck with the Migos, and then and then those YouTubers that like to prank, they're like they're 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 a real prankster. Top notch idiots. Top, oh yeah yeah. Maybe. Especially, especially Alto and and oh, and yeah. what's his name? What's the other? I forgot his name. Yeah. But yeah, them two, yeah, I, I fuck with them. But yeah, that's about it. I don't know. No, no yeah, more. Migos definitely. And if we go off of YouTubers, like YouTubers that we would meet, we got. I got a list. Oh. Like, I would want to meet Chris Smooth, but you know I watch all his videos. I watched that series with uh, Elliot. Yeah. Chris Smooth. Probably Cash Nasty and uh, Flight Reacts, bro. Flight Reacts is too funny, bro. I hope one meet him first. Uh, but that's all our questions. We got a whole bunch of people we would like to meet, bro. But, you know, hopefully one day our dream can come true. We got another personal type question. What's one thing that we hate about each other? You go first. Me? You already know mine. Can you guess it? No, cause no. I you just, say it. I just hate she beats cars and all the arguments, man. That's mine. She calls all the arguments in the relationship, so that's what I. But think. is it mainly because I cause it because I'm? She's is just, it or because I, I catch you doing things yeah, that yeah, makes she, me mad? She's bossy. She just she runs the game. She's like. In jail, bro. She like the pod boss or whatever. <laughs> she, she got rules and shit. I mean, it's just Everybody called respect in the relationship. It's not really the And then the fact that I gotta repeat myself and all that. Stuff. Yeah, that's not cool. So you hate that? I. What are you so? What well, so, you so, so, oh, so that's that's the. I hate that you like to call all the arguments. If okay. That, if you didn't have that, bro, like, well, we wouldn't argue about nothing. Bro. We'd be happy. Bro. Anyways, my I got two. I got two. Mine is is when oh okay. this this is the one when we go out you too much you way too much you embarrass me I'd be like man why why am I even here bro yeah I'd be acting you you be acting too that's much. a good one I I do act myself. You do, and sometimes, you, have to tell her and that and sometimes you you gotta act normal, you know. But you always be like, no gay shit, but like you always trying to shake your booty. You over there doing shit, running uh, around like a little kid. Oh, tell them that. And story. then, so wait, right, and then the, the second one oh. is um, like I said, when I gotta repeat myself, I ain't gotta repeat myself. If I said it once, you listen. If I gotta say it second, three, four, five times. Then it, to me, I feel like you don't care. I feel like you don't, you don't hear me. I feel like you don't, you just don't understand the thing. Yeah. And that makes me mad. And you know when I get mad, and I get mad. Everything goes down, everybody. <laughs> but anyway, back to that first one. She said that I'll be acting myself in public. That is true. Okay, we usually go grocery shopping on a Sunday. Don't so be telling them. I didn't tell them this story. <laughs> Like, I was going down the aisle to get some Lil Debbie's, and I didn't know what Lil Debbie's to get. So I'm just standing out in the middle, and I put my hand up like this, like I'm a soldier. And I'm just looking at the big kids, just looking around. And somebody come by down the aisle, and they were just laughing their ass off. That's why I was like, man, I can't be around him, bro. That's too embarrassing. <laughs> I understand you're trying to be funny and all shit. At times, it is funny. At times, you can't be yourself, but you, you do it every day. Every day. You talk too loud. You always be like, man, fuck this shit. Fuck, fuck this. Why is it too expensive? You know, you you always got something to say. And that's, to I me, that always, shit gets annoying. I just love being, I like making people laugh. So I guess I need to be a comedian. Not around me, no. And back to, to another story of me being too extra. When we was, one day we had to go to the family door and get something from the store. And I'm just walking around being funny, minding my business. And Melina pushes me into the toilet paper and the paper towels. Mm -hmm. And this... These ladies that look in back in the front, they just laugh and they ask. No, it's not they just, ladies. There's, it's only one Hispanic lady that was starting to laugh. There was just one? Yeah, one Hispanic lady. 
Yeah, when she I was knew laughing. her. I knew her. And, and she was just looking around and she seen me push and she started laughing. I might have made her a day because you never know. People go yeah. through stuff. Me pushing Josh into into the, the toilet paper or whatever. Mm -hmm. Might have made her a day. You know, she was laughing and stuff. Next question. All right, guys, the next question is, who said I love you first? I did. And when I said I love you, I meant it in all my heart. Amina didn't mean it when she said it. Yeah, I didn't, because I ain't gonna lie. I told him straight up, too. I kept telling him, when we was dating five months, six months, I, I told him, I, I was like, it took me a while to fall, actually fall in love with you. I mean, I loved him, but not to the point where I would sacrifice everything for him. Not to the point where if he was leaving, you know, I'd be like, it is what it is, you know. I think I But just... now, the type of love I got for him is like, I'm jealous, you know, he's mine. Like, like, if you're gonna leave me, you know, it's gonna be rough for me. It's, I'm gonna, you know, go through some different type of emotional, because I'm in love with this person. I'm used to being around him. And everything, you know, that's that's my ride or die type shit. Him and my son are the only person. They're the only people I fuck with. And that's it. She's okay. preaching on him, man. <laughs> you gonna have to cut the camera off, man. Be quiet. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's it. Just, you know, it, it took yeah, a I while. Said it. But he said it. I think after after Valentine's Day, right? I think I said it sometimes. Or after a month, I think, somewhere, you know, he said, I love you, and I was like, damn. You know, I kind of felt bad saying I love you, even though I didn't mean, you know. If you didn't, if you didn't mean it, but you didn't have to say it. Though. I didn't have to, but I, but if I didn't, I feel like you'd be like, damn, you don't love me, I might as well go on and stuff. Yeah. So, but now look at us. We're blessed. And we are, we are going to be shouting out Snapchats, so... I'm gonna put his Snapchat, I'm gonna put all the Snapchats about right here. Uh, and his question was, what was, what is our most difficult decision we had to make together? That's a hard and deep ass question. Wait, what? What is the, what is the most difficult question? I mean, what is the most difficult decision we've had to make? That's a hard, challenging yeah, question. I don't, right? I don't really know. It was a hard decision. A hard decision. Yeah, I really don't even know. Um. Hmm. I don't want to get too personal, but I guess we don't really have one. We don't really have one, but if, if I was to name one, I would say about Emiliano. Calling you dad and stuff. At first, I said no because you know I, I didn't know if it was gonna last long. I didn't know if it was gonna break off all months. I don't want my son to go around just calling somebody dad and then break off and the next person comes and he's like dad, you know. I would say. I would say that was it for me. In, your, in, your in my perspective. In, in my answer. I, that's what I thought me and you was. In doing. my answer, I would say our most difficult decision. Would be moving in together. That's a big decision and that's a big step. Because you don't really know somebody, you don't really know, no, no, know somebody until you move, until you move in together. So that's I think you that, know, you I think know, that was you know, they're decision. not the routine, you know, how they yeah. do certain stuff. When you don't live together, it's a whole different vibe, it's way different. But when you move in together, see, like like me and Josh, see, we work at different places. At times, I do want to work with them. But at the same time, if I work with them, I'm going to get tired of seeing them. So I'd rather him to work at a different place, come home, we we'll want to see each other, we we'll want to be, you know, see each other's presence to the point where we don't get tired. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it, you know. All right, so you got two answers for that question. On to the next question. Alright, this next show out goes to somebody that's been on our channel before. He did the magic videos with us. Oh. My boy Austin gets this shout out. I'm gonna put his Snapchat right here. And his question is 
what are some of y'all's goals for your channel to hit 2,000 subscribers? First of all, me and Melina, we want to say thank you guys for getting us to 1,000 subscribers. Hopefully, you guys can keep blessing us and blessing us. Cue this to do my main job. And just the, the goal to get to 2,000 subscribers is just keep working like I always do. I really got a whole bunch of beat. I really got to like, work editing. This shit ain't no joke. And you have the whole, whole fucking full-time job and you do YouTube, like, that shit is fucking hard, bro. And I'm the only one that edits because Melina don't really edit because she don't really know. So, it's really Why just... Why you pulled me out on this It's really just riding on me. Like, I really, like, it's... I want it so bad for myself. So, like... You work. You I work hard. so hard. Like, sometimes Melina just be getting mad. She's like, YouTube is more important. Like, I really be putting my all in. And she be like, get mad. She be like, come watch TV with me. Come do this with me. And like, I'm really so focused. I'm just sitting there on my laptop all day, just worrying about YouTube. Like, everything. Right? Yeah, but we always gotta put God before yeah, anything. Yeah, always gotta put God before anything. I know sometimes I be forgetting. And then they get mad. Like, I know deep down on my side, nothing would be without God. But I go for 2,000 subscribers, you know, just keep working. Keep doing the same thing that made us, made us get to 1K. 1K. Pray, stay prayed up with Jesus. You know, you know, just keep going out with the Lord. Yeah. All right, you guys. The next question. They deserve a shout out, but I don't remember their name. So, like, I'm going to have to go look on the, the other phone. <laughs> Her question was, what is y'all's pet peeve? I think we answered this in the first Q&A, but I guess I'll answer it again. Um, my biggest pet put, biggest pet peeve is I cannot stand it when somebody is, is getting with me, bro. Like, that is my biggest thing. Oh, I thought it was waste of time. That and wasting my time. Those two are my biggest pet peeves. Like, seeing somebody in school get picked on, bro. I don't care if it's a special ed kid, bro. Like, any kid in general, even if he got, he wear all black, and, you know, he ain't, he ain't got no swag, you know, he got big pair, big air pants or whatever, he get made fun of for what he wearing. Like, I can't stand it. And then, that's, that's one thing, that's one sad thing about the society now. Now, you gotta be popular. Now, you don't gotta get bullied, because you, you gotta wear all this brand clothes to fit in and that's just sad. You don't gotta wear all these brands to fit in. It's, it's you know, the, yeah, it's all about the personality. But for, for like I said, nowadays it's not like that no more. That's that's really sad to the point because there's people out here that are struggling to pay bills. But kids, other kids are so worried about oh he wearing this, oh no he, you know he don't fit in with. But that, yeah. that's not cool. That shit ain't cool. You know? I just can't stand it. Bullied and my time is wasted. And I, and I seen that happen at my school. I seen this kid, you know, he he wasn't like the other ones, but you know, he sometimes he got thrown salad at, sometimes he got thrown ranch at, and ketchup, and that that used to make me mad. But it, you know, I, I never had the you know the guts to stand up for somebody. Yeah. But, I was like, especially I was especially friends with them. You know, them kids at the time, you know, we was going to school. The school everybody was talking about the schools, when they get shot up and all that. Man, I was especially friends with them, bro. I ain't gonna put no names out there, no high school I went to, but there was this one kid, bro, like, I was in ad class, and he had wrote, he had wrote a whole map, bro, like, how he was gonna go to school, bro. And I was like, that's gotta be my friend. <laughs> that's gotta be my friend. Oh, shit. You ain't finna be he the drew up a whole here. map. I ain't saying no names in that. He drew a whole map, bro. And he said where he was gonna start and finish. You know where he at now? I have you no don't idea. know anything about I have no idea. But I was like, he got to be my friend. And plus, I went. I ain't gonna say I was probably, but I just like playing basketball. I just ran there, play basketball at school, and go to the crib. That's all I was. And plus, I didn't really talk much in school, so. But what is your pet peeve? Oh, mine. Um, I got two. Respect me, and I respect you. 
Respect is earned. It's not given. Yes. Just like in a relationship, if you respect me, I'll respect you. But if you're gonna, if you're gonna keep disrespecting me, see, I'm gonna disrespect you. But I'm gonna do it the hard way. I'm not gonna do that easy shit. Oh, if you do this, you know what? You know, just like let's just say you know you look at something that I don't like. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do the same thing. But no, I don't do that. If you're gonna disrespect me, and if I gotta repeat myself, you know what? It's like fuck the relationship. I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna go do that. But you know, but other than that, if you respect me, I'm gonna respect you 100. percent You know, and then another thing is, don't waste my time. You got the same. Yeah, do not waste my time. If you if you just keep it 100 with me, if you ain't got no more feelings for me, just let me know. It's gonna be hard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna go through a rough phase. But I'd rather you tell me in front of my face than go than just leaving me and abandoning me like some dog. You know? Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, don't waste our time. I don't like bullying. That is not cool. And Melina's is, you know, respecting that. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, the next shout out goes to my cousin. My cousin D gave me some questions. So I'm going to put his I'm gonna put his channel in the description. I'm not going to, but he knows who he is. I'm going to put his, his channel down in the description. And I think I can put it in. My oh yeah, he so got a channel. Yeah, he got a channel. So, uh, his first question originally was, "How long have we been together?" But I told him, "We already answered that." But we are, we have been together for a month, a one year, and eight almost months. Eight, yeah, eight no, months. it's not almost. It's eight months. It is. Mm -hmm. So a year, and eight months. That's how long we've been together. On January, it's gonna be a two-year anniversary. Yeah. And his next question was. Where do you see your, where do we see ourselves in five years? Where do I, in five years I see myself, we made, we made it out of YouTube. We already have another child, beside Emiliano we already have another little Sally or little Johnny. That's my word. And, and stay at home mom. That's, that's where I see myself in five years. And, and then, you know, helping my family, bringing, no, I'm not going to. Tell me. No, because there's certain people that watch videos that I don't want. They don't watch it, bro. Tell you. Tell no, them. They don't need to know that What shit. if somebody famous watches this video? Oh, I hope they do. Well, I'm going to say it for you. Melina, Stop. Melina wants to. Melina wants to help her family, bro. And send her people, her family, money. Because her family does not Yes, live. but I'm trying to. I'm but she's not going to say my, no names. But I'm trying, to, I'm, trying to bring, I'm trying to bring my family over, you see. No, that's what I see myself in five years from now. Okay, mine, I want to get married. The next five years, I'm trying to get married. I'm trying to have a whole wedding on the beach type shit. I want a whole, I want a whole wedding, bro. I don't know about how many babies I'm going to have right now. It's, if it do happen, it'll probably be, i say, two at the most, like I always say. Including Emiliano's three. We already and including Emiliano's mm -hmm. three. We already got names, bro. We we ain't talking about Hakeem. Uh, I don't know. If we was a, if it's a girl, we're gonna name it Mercedes Valentina Burst. Perfect. I want, I want my girl. Perfect. I want to have a girl more than I want to have a guy. Bro. I want to have a little boy more than I want to have a girl. That's why I come up with that name. I want a girl. I don't want no boy. And I want a they girl. Nasty. That's why I, I I said I, don't wanna, I want to name nasty. my little boy Hakeem. Isaiah Burst. <laughs> Alright, Paul, this question. Yeah, but what else? The other thing that I see for myself in five years, hopefully I can make it out of YouTube. That's like my biggest. I hate my job. Everybody hates their job. Bro. I hate waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning to go wake up at for a job and barely get two days off a week. I'm tired of that bullshit. So hopefully. And, and basically, him, like, he get off late. So basically, when he come home, all he do is come home, eat, take a shower, and get ready for the for, for the next, next morning day. and keep doing the I same time, thing. I have no time for that. He ain't got no time to go I to the bank. By the time he off, the bank is already closed. Close, everything and that, that's just crazy, you know. And, and our manager, you know, like, they don't give a fuck. They don't, they don't give a fuck. So I hopefully, I put all my grind and effort into this. So hopefully, I can be, I want to be a stay at home. I make it out of YouTube. I just want to do videos and stay at the house. And go who and do whatever I want to do. Like, that's all I'm gonna do. I don't even know. 
why do I want to be with you? No, why did you want to be with me? Is it because I was pretty? Is it because of my body? Is it because of my personality? Or is it I don't want to answer that question. I was tired of being lonely, bro. For real. I was lonely. I was tired of being So you didn't lonely. care for if I, if I was an Oompa Loompa, you would be like, you know, fuck it. I had standards. But I'm just saying, I was very lonely. Bro. I had nothing to do. I was tired of being around my family. You know what I mean? I got out of the hospital, and all I did was work. I was ready to meet the son of my brother. That was my goal. And I guess I was ready. Yeah. 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 What a surprise because when I used to look at his picture, he looked like a stoner. He just, he, he's not that type of person who would be like, oh, he's like church. He's more of a, of a, of a, like, no, like, no, more like, more like, well, I forgot what I even said, man. But, you, you know, you don't even, like I said, you, you look like a stoner. You, you don't look like a church person. You don't look. I never thought you went to church. I never thought your dad was a pastor. Tell, way, him, way tell, him, about, tell him about the way I looked at you don't like the way you thought I was. So why, how did I look? So what you're was, basically your dreads, mate. Like, when you had them dreads, I was like, you know, he just looks like a stoner. You know, he probably smoked marijuana every day. That's what I really thought. Just be because honest. I got dreads. That's what I really thought. I'm just sorry. I, I, know, I know I should have never judged your book by its cover. Yeah. But that's what I really thought. But like I said, what catch me is the way he treated me or the way he treated me. I don't know. He said, you know, my dad is a pastor. I don't smoke. I don't, you know, I don't drink. And I was like, okay, you know, because I mean, like nowadays people smoke and drink. That's all they do. They go out and party. But he's more of a, he's more of a husband material. He's not no, you know, going out, trying to find hoes, trying to get his body count up like this middle boy. Going out here. Oh, I got five body counts. Fuck the chick out here. I'm, we already know that. I'm too tired to be doing all of that stuff. I'm just trying to rest and go home. Man. All I do is go to work and come eat and go to sleep. I'm just trying to go do. I'm just trying to do what I need to do. That's all my daddy told me. That's all I know how to do. Do what I need to do. Basically. And another thing is, now that I want to stay with them, it's because. He, you know, he helped me. Like, he's the type to help me clean, you know, while he's cleaning dishes. I'm out here sweeping the floor. You know, he's the type to, like, clean the dishes while I'm sweeping. He's doing the laundry while I'm cleaning the dishes. You know, he helps me. He helps me cook. He cooks. Sometimes he comes home late, but yet he's still willing to help me. At times, at times about him getting off late and I mean, cooking I'll be lazy when I get off work a lot of time. Yeah, but most of the time, he's a good person. I get off early, I'm coming home, I'm cooking for everybody. Yeah, that's that one thing that you got off at 3, 3, 15, you got home at 3, 15, 3, 20, he came home running, getting out the chicken, putting flour, putting it in the, in the grease, and I was yeah. like, what you doing? He was like, I'm cooking. He was like, go sit down. I was I like, are you sure? Yeah, and he was like, yeah. It. He was like, don't worry about it. I'm cooking. I never cook for y'all. I was like, husband material. Husband material. Chicken fingers, fries, and some steak. And he did, and he did a good job. That shit was crunchy too. You gotta cook. Yeah, I gotta cook. I don't hardly have time to cook for you. I get off late. So. But I get a chance, I try to. All right, you guys, and before we go, we got one last question. This is a shout out to my best friend, Noah, that I used to work at the grocery store. My friend Noah, his Snapchat gonna be right here. His question to you, man, he was like, what do you wanna be for Halloween? A, um, Power Ranger. You wanna be a Power Ranger, what color? Blue. Blue? Yeah. Okay, blue. Fist bump. Fist bump. Fist, like, Ow! No, you I like, didn't say punch, no. No, you can fist, fist bump your, your fans. Yeah, fist bump. 
I just want you guys to stay safe because this there's new flashes, all this corona coming out. Hope you guys keep your mask on and stay safe, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Man, I've been a little sick here. I've been coughing and sneezing and all that shit. So hope y'all guys stay safe through this damn corona. Um and we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn your notifications on. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. Bye. Say bye.